Sarah, just explain your role to us uh, here, what you do at the BRC. Yes, certainly. I'm uh, the front of house operations manager. So I look after all the food and beverage staff within all the retail outlets and also all the event spaces on site. So race days are pretty busy for you? Yes, absolutely. So uh, it goes from one extreme to the other in terms of having sort of a regular race day where um, you know, we can have sort of anything between sort of a thousand patrons to up to a big carnival days. So we normally start planning about two weeks out and I'll do up a whole sort of plan of set up schedule so that the guys know what's happening the next week. Um, obviously when we go from one race course to the other, uh, there's a lot involved and we'll have different events from week to week. So we might have a function uh, in a particular room that might be cocktail one week and the next week it's dining. So we do a lot of preparation in terms of working out which bars have got to be set up depending on how busy the race day is to what's open and what's not. Uh, so on a race day obviously we get here and we've got the first thing we've got to do is obviously get all the gates prepared and then all our outdoor areas there's a lot that we can't set up until the day uh, due to the weather so we might be putting out things like decorations on tables cushions on couches um, all the guys are setting up all the lawn tables that go on our public lawn and our members areas so all the umbrellas have to be put up on on the day so it can't be done beforehand um, and then it's a matter of briefing all the staff as they get in. So have a lot of briefings first thing in the morning to get everyone ready. There's a lot of staff that only work on the race day. So first thing in the morning, we'll be briefing all the setup staff as to what needs to be done before the gates open. Oh, it could be literally up to about 20 different functions. And so it'd be, you know, there could be a couple of cocktail functions and then dining functions. And our dining can be sit down plated meals or it can be buffet style. So um, very different in terms of making sure we've a lot of things to check. We obviously type up menus before the day as well, so there's a lot that can change week to week. Um, and the same in terms of checking that things are set for clients the way they want them set. So, so never a dull moment. Never a dull moment. No. <laughs> Aslan, you're general manager of operations here at the Brisbane Racing Club. Just explain to us what that role means. Oh, it's an interesting one. Um, I try to tell people I do everything else apart from the racing side. So. Matt Rudolph and his team, um, the general manager of racing, he does all the racing, the horses, the jockeys, the stewards, he covers all of that, and I pretty much do everything else. And it's it's a, a topic that's been discussed so much in the wider media in terms of getting staffers, particularly in the hospitality area. Have you found that difficult um, you know, through, in particular, since what happened with COVID? Yeah, it's, uh, it's a bit of a struggle, not just for us, but for a lot of major venues as well. Um, we're pretty good, our staffing team are on the front foot and usually go out fairly early, try and lock in people and, and contact the agencies to get more staff on board. For some of those bigger race days, we are also very um, fortunate that we've got a really good loyal support from our casual staff pool um, that really come to all the races and, and really help support us on week to week. On a normal Saturday, you could get anywhere between 150 to 200, depending on what bars and function spaces are open on a day, what clients we have on site. Um, but for a Stradbroke season or a big um, Stradbroke day, you could easily double that, very easily. And that doesn't include the police, the security teams, the cleaners and so forth. So there's, there's quite a large group that actually come and support us on the day. Um, Eagle Farms probably, uh, you know, obviously quite a big track compared to Doomben. Doomben's a little bit more compact and slightly easier to manage. Um, just Eagle Farms, just with the size and scale of things, just makes it a little bit more tricky and it's probably a little bit more staff that needs to go into that. Uh, the patrons are really good. We love the members coming in. There's always a lot of regular members that come in and we try to say good day to them. Um, but there's not too much uh, major dramas that we face on day to day. Uh, the bottom line is that you want to just provide a, a really good experience for people who come here. Absolutely, you know, we, we look at our, our venues as a destination for people to come, enjoy the day, you know, kick on after the races and, and have a great experience and take, you know, go back home after that and tell their friends.